Hello! Welcome back to Benny's Dead. So we've just made it through the sewers to the uh, correct side of the main gate, the hotel side of the main gate. And we have uh, some guards wandering around and patrolling up there. So I'm guessing we're down here in the south somewhere. I'm gonna t I'm gonna head up this uh, and I'm gonna here and take a quick peek before proceeding down there. Oh wait, there's nothing. All right, done. So we need to go this way. Is that a guard or is that a statue? That's just a statue. Starting nothing, Garrett. Right, there is a guard that comes this way. Any purse? Oh, there is a purse. Ma'am. That, uh, well, it looks very heavy. I can carry it for you if you would like. No? It's a generous offer. Well, I might just carry it anyway. Thank you. Alright. Somebody snoring nearby. really have much in the way of uh, darkness nearby, so rather than, I'm gonna just wait again until she comes back, and then duck around behind her. Uh, these old buildings make too much noise. That's not the building making noise, that's the person snoring. statues with the uh, lock on them, but it's uh, rather advertising rather more than the keepers uh, typically want to do. Sleeping guard. Some patrolling in there. There's not very much uh, What was that? It was nothing. It's always nothing. It's never anything exciting. Don't you wish you knew. Is someone there? Yeah, the guards everywhere. I'm gonna have to knock them out. I don't want to, but uh... I really don't know where this goes. I don't even know which place this is. This is even the hotel. This might be the hotel for all I know. No, oh, surely this isn't like the mall or something. That's right, so I'm gonna keep exploring down this floor. There's definitely somebody there. Somewhere. There we are. Um, if you're coming this way, sir. Thought I saw. Yeah, he's coming up the stairs. to have to uh, knock anyone out. I was trying to be sneaky, but uh... So he's going to be patrolling a circle. What have we got here? Some books. 30th Avery received word of Lord Lady Bafford's visit. Lieutenant Torian will act as her ladyship's attendant while in Moth. Arrested Joral for cheating at dice again today. This is his third offence in as many weeks. It's a wonder people still play with him. Reports of animals disturbing the refuse behind machineries at night have set traps, but expect nothing to come of this. First Juni. Celebrations today in honour of St. Fairfax. Usual offences. Public lewdness, criminal mischief. <laughs> Public lewdness, Lola, criminal mischief, Lola, Joral, Reverend Guy, Glohap, Jeroir, Noana. Undue drunkenness. 
most everyone in Moth. No charges laid, though several cautions were given. Caught a local ragamuffin trying to get into the hostel opposite the recruiting station via the old chimney. Who would have thought it possible to even get up there without a rope? Second tuning, very quiet today on account of the fact that everyone still ails from the rebels of yesterday. The traps behind machineries are still empty, though the refuge continues to be ransacked on a nightly basis. The Board of Hygiene intends to pay a visit to the kitchens, as they feel the place might be unsanitary. There's a surprise. Third Juni. Nothing unusual, save for Constable Eggersby's report of a missing dog. Poor Mutt probably ran off in, a, an attempt to, in an attempt to find a better place to live than an old man Wilhouse hovel. Fourth Juni. Lola cautioned again about public lewdness. I know she's a bit simple, but something really must be done about her behaviour. She seems to have taken a shower into Constable Soft, so perhaps I shall assign him to keep an eye on her. Received an unusual report from the sewer man, one which should be taken with a grain of salt, as he was absolutely incoherent with drink at the time. He says he was assaulted by some sort of creature in the sewers, and he has to cut some bruises to prove it. Sewer man is a raggedy enough individual at the best of times, so it was difficult to ascertain the truth of his story. However, grubby or not, the sewer man is generally a sensible man, and his report bears writing down. Fifth Juni. Had another spice wagon hijacked. BH. Vigoda came bursting into the station house, shouting about a burst pipe. Once he had calmed down, he complained to us that the pipes which vented the odours from his shop were not functioning properly, and that unless we told the sewer man to fix the problem, he would go over to the sewer man's tower and beat him. I cautioned the fishmonger against making such threats, and he stormed off. Vigoda arrested for vandalism. Constable Valgoman caught him trying to pry open one of the sewer hatches with a metal bar. He was fined and released. Ishak reports that someone has been stealing equipment from his storeroom. Questioned the usual suspect, to no avail. There is a stranger staying at Brennan House, the only person in Moth who is not a local. But he's a tailor and a respectable citizen of the city. He is hardly likely to be interested in stealing Ishak's inventory. 6 Juni, a representative from the Board of Hygiene came today to inform us that Machineries has been closed down until they can get the vermin under control. If anyone is found serving food from the main kitchens, they are to be arrested and held until the board sends for them. 7th Juni. News about Lady Bafford's visit. She will arrive upon the morning of the 20th, and requests that special security be installed in the hotel prior to her arrival. I have spoken to friend Tillingust, and she has agreed to lend a few of the metal faces. It is best that they be installed at the last possible minute, however, as Lady Bafford has the usual number of enemies who might send an assassin to determine the hotel's preparedness some time before her ladyship arrives. 8th Juni. I've received several complaints about the sewer system and the machinery contained therein. Many residents are unable to use the plumbing in their homes, and the electricity is prone to failure. As the hatches are all locked, I have sent Lieutenant Torian to have a word with the sewer man, in the hopes that he will go and see to the problem. Joral thrown out of the flaming weasel for cheating at cards this time. 9th Juni. Lieutenant Torian reports that sewer man is intractable. He refuses to enter the sewers until the corpse of whatever creature attacked him is brought to the surface by one of the watch. Sent Yacovelli and Gravis down there. We can't have the whole town without power. Lola has quieted down considerably since Sot was assigned to keep an eye on her. I think she likes him. Sot doesn't seem too upset with his assignment, and I wonder if the two of them may be becoming friends. 10th Juni. It has been a full day, and there has been no word from Yacovelli and Gravis. I wonder if they have gotten themselves lost down there. Best to send Torion over to Suleman's Tower again to see what happened. I'd like to see the thing that frightened Suleman so badly. That man isn't even afraid of the big spiders, so whatever it was that attacked him must be fierce indeed. Reports of broken windows over at House Maleka. The servants say they saw a small child throwing rocks at the side of the house, but when they ran outside to chase him, he was nowhere to be seen. Sent Twilling to question the local ragamuffins, but they didn't deny involvement. They have alibis as well. There was a dead burrock in the canal this afternoon, and they all gathered to poke at the car carcass with sticks. Twilling says the stench of the beast's remains was evident on their clothing, and he is satisfied of their innocence. 11th Juni. Gravis and Yacovelli are dead. Or if not dead, as good as. Seelman came in to give a formal statement as to what happened, and while I am disgusted by his cowardice, there will be no charges laid. The tale he told made the hairs on my arm stand up, and the look in his eye was one of purest terror. That man is haunted by something, that much is plain. I will send no more into the sewers until someone can come up with a plan. The townsfolk will have to bear with us for the time being. Gravis was a bachelor, but Yacovelli leaves behind a wife and son. The responsibility of delivering such bad news falls to me. There are times when I long for the relative unimportance of the foot patrolman, but Yacovelli and I were quite friendly and so I probably would have wanted to tell 
assuming about her husband's death personally, even if I won't watch Captain. 12th Juni. A third spice wagon hijacked in three weeks. I am certain of BH or KJ's involvement. The price of spice has tripled in the shops now. Lieutenant Torion is investigating the situation, but if my suspicions are correct, she'll find naught but a wall of silence. Yacovelli's son has applied to become a watch officer. Good for him. I recommend him personally to the academy. More vandalism. This time the pipes outside Brennan House were pulled away from the wall, and the word Jabhar was written on the door in some sort of vile smelling filth. No suspects. I questioned the lodgers at the house personally, and no one saw anything that night. The tailor said that he was out for a walk in the night air, and noticed that the pipes had been dislodged when he returned. He did not notice any word written upon the door, so it is my opinion that those responsible were interrupted and came back at a later time. Brennan should thank the tailor. He may have scared the malefactors away by being outside when he was. 13th Juni. Still no solution to the problem in the sewers, and the townsfolk are getting restless. Something very unusual is going on in Moth, and everyone knows it. Ever since St. Fairfax's day, strange, thi strange things have been happening. Lieutenant Torion reports no useful information from the driver of the latest spice wagon. She has gone over the statements of the other two drivers, and they all claim to have seen nothing. They're obviously lying as well as very frightened, and this only adds to the feeling I get that KJ has his fingers in this one. 14th Juni. A scientist came to the watch station this morning claiming to have a plan as regards the situation with the sewers. Her papers identify her as Kathleen von Ord, a member of the Scientific Council of Dark Mesa. I thought that place was abandoned after the mechanists fled the rust gas, but news of what happens in the city is as much rumour as fact by the time it reaches Moth. I've never seen a scientist before and I'm surprised at how human she is. I had heard that scientists were all very cold and emotionless, as if the mechanists elite were themselves. Metal Creations Vandal's plan is to go into the sewers herself, where she can perform the necessary repairs to the equipment. She's confident the sewer man will allow her access. She appears to know all about the report of a creature, as well as the fact that two of my best men never returned from the tunnels. But she wants to go anyway. I know better than to meddle with a fool's plans, but if she can do what she claims, we'll be in, in her debt. 15th Juni. Power and plumbing have been restored. The scientist was as good as her word, it seems. She reported seeing no creatures in the tunnels, though, and was not able to locate Grabus, nor Yakovili. As she will be staying in Moth for the next few weeks, the scientist has offered to return to the sewers if anything else should go wrong with the machines. Sewer man seems satisfied with this arrangement, as he is holding to his vow not to return below until his assailant's corpse is put in front of him. 16th Juni. Torion believes she has found a clue in the matter of the hijacked spice wagons. One of the drivers has recounted his earlier account, and now claims to have been robbed at bolt point by a gang of dark cloaked men. The men wore an emblem with a yellow spider displayed upon it, and if this is the case my suspicions of KJ's involvement may have been a bit hasty. Surely men in the employ of KJ would wear the symbol of the Black Hand. I did not ask Torian how she came by this information given the terrified silence of all three drivers, but the blood on her tunic suggests that she used the old method of questioning. She's a real traditionalist. I will be leaving command of the station in Lieutenant Torian's capable hands for the next few weeks, as it seems that Lady Baffert has personally requested that I act as her escort. I am flattered and a bit excited to be chosen. Her ladyship is renowned for her beauty and grace, and it is said that her escorts are well paid once the visit has been concluded. How hard can it be to bodyguard someone in Moth? I doubt that her ladyship will be, will be much interested in touring the sewers, so as long as I warn her against playing games of chance with Joral, there should be nothing to worry about. I've always wanted to stay in the hotel, but they won't have people like me in there. Now's my chance. Poor Torion. She was so looking forward to this assignment. Whew. So, uh, I'm guessing this is Benny's uh, log, and wow, does he write a novel. Um, because we had the report, it was the person who was acting as uh, Lady Baffert's bodyguard. That was, that was the Commander of the City Watch, right, Benny? If I'm remembering the intro right. And that was the one that was killed. Something of that sort. Uh, so, clues for us, though. There's a way into the hostel opposite the recruiting station via the old chimney. Uh, with a rope. So I was at the recruiting station, but I didn't notice... Uh, I don't think I noticed the hostel. So I might... Want to go back? I don't know. What else? 
Um, Superman's report. Blah, blah, blah. There's a stranger staying in front of the house. Well, guess who that might be? As a tailor and a respectable citizen of the city. Well, also, clearly a good enough actor to pull the watch. Uh, there are metal faces at the hotel. Uh, that is very useful to know. Lady Bafford, mm, uh, may, there may also be an assassin to uh, send to attack Lady Bafford, who knows. What else? Uh, so the two guards we found dead down below were Yacobelli and Gravis. Uh, the servants sort of say they small small child the house of Malaika. Uh, that's one of the uh, things from the sewers. Throwing rocks, that would be... Uh, was it Gibby that threw rocks? I don't know. I do like the kids, the local kids' alibi, though. There was a dead barrack and they all gathered to poke sticks at it. With it. Um, yeah. What else? So, BA, I guess, is Black Hand. I don't know who KJ is, but... Uh, there's clearly some criminals around. Spice wagons being hij hijacked. Pipes outside Brennan House pulled away from the wall and the word Jab Hal written on the door in some sort of filth. This is odd. Brennan House is where I was staying. The tailor, that is. Uh, noticed they'd been dislodged, but there was no word. It's interesting. Also, at the recruitment station, there's talk of the scientists coming by, and uh, that's Catalan Van Ord who wrote that book we read there. Uh, member of the Scientific Council of Dark Mesa. Haha. <laughs> um, so she is apparently also in town. She was clearly the one who was studying the, uh, writing the notes that we had found in the sewers, studying the uh, short creatures that I uh, kind of killed. Mm. Also, there's a report of a gang of dark cloaked men whose emblem is a yellow spider. That's also new. There's a lot of stuff going on. And um, this is one very massive info dump of it all. And there's a second book. Duty log, shift one, day bell to lunch. Gravis, Twilling, Benayan, Weathery, Dent, Anderson, Riddenhow, Walden. Shift two, lunch to nine bells. Torion, Belgobin, Eggersby, Yacovelli, Berry, Davis, Moon, Decker. Shift three, nine bells to day bell. St. Ange, Franklin, Wellesley, Sot, Mantanakis, Gardiner, Lyon, Petit. Jordan's Ackles, Benson, Finner. Well, that's shorter at least. Anything here? No. We have this belt, no. We have this guard. Who. He's gonna walk past here and out that door. Control in a circle up there again. Oh. This is so. This is clearly the city watch station. Uh, so really, this is the heart of. Well, these are my clients as well as pretty much my enemies. There is a door. I'm guessing nothing. Next time, I better say no to that second mug of coffee. You better. What do we got? Captain Benny Hill and Lieutenant Torion. Alright, let's go to Torion's first. There's a safe. And it's locked. Let's see if we can pick a lock. Nope. Does Torion have a key? Oh. Well, there's a button that opens it. That's fine. It's a scroll. My dear Lieutenant, I have been asked by Lady Bafford that you refuse your captain's request that you serve as her ladyship's escort while in Moth. Rather, she would appreciate it if you would convince Captain Hill to take the assignment himself. I enclose a small amount of remuneration to ensure that this instruction is followed. Her ladyship remembers you, Janelle, and she looks forward to renewing your friendship. Make sure the captain is assigned to Lady Bafford's entourage and you will be rewarded. Fail in this and I will personally burn your house to its foundations. K-G-In. Well, okay, this plot is sickening. It was not Lady Bafford's request uh, to... Well, Lady Bafford herself did not ask K 
Captain Benny, Captain Benny Hill, uh, to um, be her bodyguard. It was this cage in, and in the notes we found down below, Benny's uh, log, as far as I can tell, it uh, he was talking about KJ potentially as one one of the people potentially involved in attacking the spice wagons. Uh, the, some kind of member, possibly the leader of a group called the Black Hand. So clearly Cage Inn is uh, some kind of uh, criminal guy here. I'm definitely involved in threatening uh, people and so Lieutenant Torian has been threatened um, but also given some money which I shall now take. So there's some interesting evidence close that. Well, let's see if our guard friend has gone by. He's walking by just now, I think. If it wasn't for this music, it'd be easier to hear. Yeah, there he goes. His footsteps. He's going to go down the stairs very shortly. Yep, down the steps. Good. Oops. Let's see what Benny Hill has to say for himself. Or what he has. He's just got a typical lock that I can pick. He doesn't have a secret button to open it. I'm kind of, uh, wish I hadn't knocked out that one archer, by the way, now. Because it would have been nicer to uh, come in here and break into the city watchers place and uh, get everything out of there safe. Ooh, a hotel key. Nice. That will be very useful. It'd be nice to do it without ever being spotted. Or at least, you know, actually properly seen. Right. Just going down the stairs again. Let's follow. But we didn't wake the sleeping guards. Who's there? Speak up. There's no one. And nobody's noticed this. Guess it's a quiet shift after all. Ah, it's just sleeping on the stairs. So I think we can make it back out again. Without further ado. There's another guard sleeping there. There's a guard in the streets. Okay, there's another doorway there, which I have not. Sure, it's just as bad. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm going to make another big save just here because we have got some useful information now that I do want to find more about. Is that you? Oh, there's somebody there. Right, where does this go? Cells. Uh huh, and there is a prisoner in the cells. And there's a dark corner. Now, does that guard come here? hear their footsteps. The question is, do they enter this room? They do. Alright, so I shall have to be careful with the uh, city watch patrolling here. If it comes too close, I'm going to have to... Ugh. Oops. Well, I guess I could have stayed there, but... Um, I, it felt to me like they were getting... Like they would have just felt me just there. Although I was probably safe enough there. We've definitely been safe in this corner. Oh well, never mind. Another guard. Unconscious. What's this note? Ackles. Dispose of that spice wagon driver. I've got all I need from him. Torian. Whoa, so Lieutenant Torian is uh, telling people to dispose of the prisoners? Not just let them go? Because uh, according to those notes, it was Lieutenant Torian that was reporting these yellow spider emblem people, so is Torian actually covering up for 
placar. In this case, why is Torian being... I mean, Torian's clearly being threatened by them, but why... Why would Torian be, uh... Covering up? Anyway, do you have anything to say, sir? No. You, uh... Don't look very happy or very alive. Alright, um... Haha. <laughs> Alright, so there's more of this City Watch station. And unfortunately, you know, definitely not ghosting very well here, but uh, I'm not really trying to. There's somebody asleep. But is there anybody awake? Wait, I thought I heard snoring. Maybe I didn't. Well, there's their dunny. Visibility potion. What's the city watch doing with that? Gold. They don't need that. Loaf. I like bread. Noise make arrow. And in here we have something else. More gold. Right. I know you missed the bullseye last time, Gareth. See if you can do better this time. That's yeah, still way off. All right. Is the watch station? Is it even on the map? No, but it must be just here. So we have still a long way to go before we get anywhere near that hotel. Oh, yeah, there's the cell. Sorry. We've got the sleeping guard. We've got the patrolling guard. Alright, uh, so I'll wait for this patrolling guard to go back down the alley and then head onwards. I suppose I might as well uh, use my healing potion while I wait. <laughs> Certainly won't hurt. everywhere. These are busy streets. You know, I suppose a few more blackjacks here and there won't hurt. <coughs> it's not gonna hurt. You, sir, are a problem because it's too bright here for my liking. Let's see how I can get past any which way. Oh, what's over there? Oh, maybe it'll be a quiet shift then. Can I? Who would I saw? You saw nobody. All right. You are gonna sleep. It's very good thing uh, the Garrett is so good at uh, being unseen. More sleeping people out here. What's this place? Take out window. Oh, this is machineries. Due to the recent results of recent inspections by the Department of Hygiene, machineries main kitchen will be closed for the next few days. So I can get on the roof. There's definitely uh, wood there, but I'm not sure if there's any point. Uh, not just. Not just rats in their kitchen. Whoops. I guess I should just go in and uh, use my blackjack on these 
just little creepy crawlies. kitchen. Alright, uh, well, this eating establishment is uh, going to have to wait a little longer to, to open. More uh, broken doorknobs. Can I hear any more spiders? No? Oh. You know what they do here, though? There's a couple more of those uh, little creatures. Is this actually a door? No. They will see me though, won't they? Like it's very bright here. Chaps. Well, well, it's a very loose guy. So literally nothing that I need to help me back here. Oh well. This is slaughtered you for nothing. And took a lot of damage for nothing. Nobody left any money here in machineries, did they? Machineries. Could have sworn someone was there. Apparently not. Well, I mean, despite the restaurant being closed, the uh, person at the drive-in or the walk-in is uh, still. Oh, what was that? <sighs> Still, still around. Whoa, 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 why is this so slippery? Why do you have a locked chest on the roof of your uh, place? I mean, I don't mind particularly, but uh, it is awkward to pick with such a slidey roof. Let's go to rip arrow. Well, they're gonna wander around inside the little room. So, what have we got here? Let's, uh, do I need the hotel key now? Just the hotel already? Reception. We haven't been through here. What is this map? Break into the hotel, alright. Um, See me? It's less good. I don't know if they can find a way down here. Bother. Also, very quick, definitely short of the 1200 loot that we need. How much do I have? 
664, we're halfway there. So, how am I supposed to get past you? I guess I just run for it. <coughs> Who's there? No one. No. No one. Just my imagination, I suppose. It's a tile floor, isn't it? <coughs> uh, right, let's see what's up. Yeah. Uh, title floor, but wooden ladder. Uh, can I? <sighs> that smell? Yeah, I guess it smells like old meat. Uh, you, sir, are. What the? I can't be me. I washed a few days ago. <laughs> that might very well be you. Or were you perhaps investigating that uh, buried carcass? Maybe the smell that uh, the local kids had on them was not the smell of a buried carcass, but merely from standing near you as you were investigated. up the second one so quickly, which had the bars now. Alright, so here we have noisy floors and noisier floors, this is bloody metal. I really don't know where we're where we are, we're facing west? Just the back of the uh, hotel? Service lift doesn't ring. Well, let's check the hotel map. I never, never actually looked at it. Uh, back gate, probably a best bet. Oh, wait, is that... Right, so we start outside the back gate, uh, and not the main gate. Right, so that's all out the front of the hotel, so we haven't actually been anywhere there. Okay. Uh, so we went here to town and all around town. We got a courtyard, with a bunch of rooms on it, lobby, bar, kitchen, dining hall, probably with guards. This is where... Benny's body was discovered. Alright. I can hear someone humming to themselves. This is all really noisy flooring. What's this? We have a. That's a long way down, isn't it? There's no wood there, that's a drop. Maybe it's not a long way down, it's hard to tell. That's alright, actually. Oh, it's dark. They have some ducts. Well, that'll help me get around a little more quietly. Ventilation ducts. <gasps> what have we here? Gift shop. There's a gift shop marked. Oh, right, so we are in the mall now. Okay, so we must have come in. So why is there a lift at the main entrance? Bizarre. All right, so we're not in the proper hotel hotel proper yet. We're in the mall in front of it. All right, so I was wrong right the first time, wrong the second time, right the third time, I guess. Um, what am I stuck on? What can I walk? Stuck in the floor, probably. Great. Six, there we are. And we got uh, anything that looks valuable. Playing cards. There's Dewdrop. I don't think uh, Dewdrop will be of much help to us here, but uh, you never know. It is our acceptance that, out of the negative absolute, the positive absolute is generating itself. Recruiting or maintaining itself via a third state. It would seem that we are trying to conceive of a universalness, manufacturing more universalness out of nothingness. Take that up yourself if you're willing to run the risks of disappearing with such velocity that you leave an incandescent trail behind. La blah, la blah, blah, blah. I don't think I want that. 
Alright, so much for the gift shop. So, I guess now this, uh... Wait. That's south? This is showing you on the north side. Or is this west? Is this upside down? Dear God, people. Give me a map, make sure it's oriented. Yeah, this is definitely the south side. We were heading west in there, so... What's this? This is Ariadne's. My dear seamstress, I am told you are a fine craftswoman, so it is to you I give this commission. I am in need of carpeting of the highest quality, woven from the richest cloth and patterned with gold thread. This carpet is to bear the likeness of a yellow spider, and contain a repeating motive based upon the following phrase. Yunwudnigishki amayunihi kalan ayeliski svenayi edahi. I will pay you handsomely for your work. Cage in. Right, here's Katie in again. Who's apparently with the black hair, doesn't look, but they are ordering a carpet with the yellow spider emblem on it. So maybe the driver of the uh, spice wagon was not lying about the yellow spiders. Maybe that's a new splinter group of uh, that Katie in is setting up or something. Well, let's commit some vandalism while we're here. What, what else do we do with that sword, you know? Kill little uh, sewer rat creatures, sewer rat men. And uh, cut down banners. Okay, so it was this the one I came in? <laughs> yes, it is. Ooh. You hear that? I hear a watcher. There's a, a, a metal face in that room. Oh, well, okay. I forewarned is forearmed. So Garrett now has uh, a couple of extra limbs if he needs them. A good thing they can't hear, because that was not what I meant to do. There it is, indeed. Alright, we'll wait till that looks the other way before getting up and uh, going to stand underneath it to scout out the room, I think. <laughs> what have we got? Some loot. Is there anything on the shelf we need? There's some. Looks like a mine, perhaps. Some scouting orbs. I'm not really sure there's anything I need. I'll try and make it dash for it. Oh, that's facing to the left. But honestly. Alright, that worked. I don't think I need the scouting orbs. And they're gonna be hard to get because of the bloody desk. We do have a patch of darkness over there, but I'm not sure how extensive it is. Not very. Alright, back down. Good! Metal face didn't even know we were there. It didn't give the slightest indication of spot to Uh So I was telling hearts, and now we're in the money exchange, so we, we should, with any luck, find some money. Oh well, we have a save for the four-digit combination. That's that's unfortunate because uh, uh, you know lockpicks don't work on that. We need a safe code, and I don't have one. I can't unlock the door. All right. Well, let's make a note. Maybe we'll find some more information on that later on. Maybe not. I am reminded just now that um, there was the whole thing about the chimney. Opposite the recruiting centre that could have been of use to us. Or, you know, perhaps more loot. We are going to need loot. We have a reasonable loot goal. Hmm? Hello? Let's 
job right Just now. wait till I find you. What's that flash mine? Who goes there? Who made that noise? Nobody. Well, uh, you know, I picked up a flash mine. I have now used it. Actually, that's a bad spot to drop you. Let's leave you here. Let's say if you clip through the door, then the uh, metal base might spot you and raise your arm. Some extra vandalism. I hope the, hope the hotel isn't all tile floors. They're uh, really not my favourite. Alright, we have ramp up to the main reception, and it's an old bloody tile floor. Where's your carpet? It's a rich hotel, it should have carpet everywhere. Look at that floor. Oh no. I hate tile. Okay, I can hear some carpet that the guard's walking on there. Uh, I'm just waiting for a moment to kind of see what I can see of the patrols. The guard was moving from left to right. Up there. There they go. Alright, so there's carpet. Exploring above me with carpet. And they're going in a circle around reception. So, I guess we come up here and the stairs go up to the main reception. That makes sense. And there's carpet up on up on this section. Alright, so wait till they move on. Well, out of sight. Yeah, the stairs, this is going to be a nuisance, isn't it? Do have moss arrows, but not enough to cover this whole space. And it really doesn't seem like a sensible use to just use one or two here. Uh, is there anything under the stairs? I do. It does look like there might be some ducting there. Just gonna creep slowly and carefully. Oh, oh god! Going from tile to metal. Carrots. Have you ever thought about investing in? Some uh, quieter boots. Perhaps, perhaps ones lined with uh, I don't know, cotton wool on the soles. Or maybe that's not a metal floor. Okay. Oh god, no. Thank thankfully it's not. Uh, it's just a stoneish floor. Metal walls. But that's right. I'm not planning to hit the walls. It's dark. I'm moving slowly in case there's a sudden drop. Down another shaft because I can't see where we're we going anyway. We're going east. Uh, so we came that way. Wait, we're going. Yeah, there's a patch of fun that's east. Uh, this doesn't show me in reception either. I don't know. I'm, I'm all lost and turned about. Where's my flares? There we are. Oh, about Okay. Let's check the other way. Probably the same thing. I'm guessing that just leads around back behind where the guard is. Although, could be careful here. Okay. Flare again. Come on. Come on. I know I've got you for some reason. Hello, G drop. Looks like much the same deal. Ventilation duct. Terminating in a banner. Now, if there's much airflow here, that means a banner would, like, uh, surely flicker a lot. Oh, right. I wonder if the guard is going to notice that uh, a banner's been chopped down and there's a creepy person leaning out of it. Getting kind of stuck. Hopefully they don't get upset about it, they just say, oh, you know, just grumble a bit about the banner. Because then I shouldn't have to knock them out. I can already see why the reception isn't shown on the second map. There's a lift there. So presumably after reception, people then take the lift up to the next floor. Wait, the guard didn't notice a thing. 
Room 1, Gamo Sorowi. Room 2, Empty. Room 3, Ruana Fira. Room 4, 5, and 6 are unavailable. Reserved for Lady Jocasta Baffert. Tip, they've only got 6 rooms, right? Let's check the map. Uh, so these are presumably the rooms for Lady Baffert. And these will be the other guests or something, I don't know. wasn't it? Guess it should be quick. More noisy floors. No, it's a wood. Alright, we are inside the hotel. We are at a fountainy sort of place. Courtyard. I hear the guard below is still quite easily. So I am going to uh, cut this episode here, get myself another cup of tea, and rejoin you shortly for, well, I guess as, I guess as we make our way to the room where Benny was murdered and examine the crime scene. So I'll see you back here shortly.